Akash and Afnan never dreamed that anyone would welcome them with a bucket of ice-cold water. Akash and Afnan's anger and such a welcome has reached their heads. After so many years, the two have returned from America, they thought that they would be welcomed very nicely. But they were so warmly invited here that they could not stay angry. Meanwhile Muskin is giving that smile from above. Laughing was like rolling over. But after he says, the smile disappeared from her face. Sumna said, smile, you welcome the wrong people. Look, all the outsiders just arrived here. They are still outside the gate. Muskin got scared and said, take the bottle. So who are they? What do you know? I think it's another guest. If you know anyone, then you must have gone today. Muskin said, biting his nails with his teeth. Don't say such bad things. Be positive year. Nothing will happen. I am. That's when Sumna's eyes went down. She saw the two boys below namely Akash and Afnan trying to wipe their eyes and look up. Sumna saw this and immediately said to Muskin, get out of here now. The two boys are trying to look up. Before Muskin could say anything, Sumna dragged him there. Akash and Afnan looked up and saw a little girl standing. Seeing this, they entered the house without saying anything. A while ago, Muskin's elder sister Mahira got married within a few days. There is a lot of commotion at home. Be that as it may or not, there is no shortage of smiles from cousins. And when all the cousins are together, there is so much shouting and shouting. Some of Mahira's in-laws and some of Mahira's groom Sean's friends have insisted that they see each other once before the wedding. So they will all come to this house today. Since people will come from the son's side, the elders of the house are busy and the little ones are busy how to invite them. Muskin was entrusted with this great responsibility, and he came up with a very beautiful idea, but it was applied to other people. Anyway, Muskin thought that a bucket of ice-cold water mixed with Upton and rose petals would be poured from the roof of the two-storied house on the heads of all the beads. Whatever the thought was, everything was ready. Some cousins were with Muskin on the roof, and some cousins were outside the gate, because they will say that when the Bayai Sahibs are all coming. After waiting for a long time, the cousins outside the gate called Muskin's phone and said, The hunt is coming, Muskin. Are our hunters ready? Muskin replied, Yes boss, I'm ready. Meanwhile, Akash and Afnan are coming home after ten years. They have come before but for three or four days. This time they have come to the country for nothing. Akash and Afnan have been friends since childhood. They used to live together in America. On the occasion of Mahira's wedding, they met Afnan's parents from the airport. Soza left for Muskin's house. Arriving in front of the house, Akash and Afnan got down from the car and entered straight inside the gate. Seeing them, the children at the gate said to Muskin, Muskin, there are only two people here. It is not supposed to be two people. Many more people will come. Muskan says in a worried voice, you are me this evening. That's it. Why two? Well, whatever. I will pour one bucket on them and prepare another bucket to pour on those who come after them. From the other side, okay. As they approached the main door of the house, Muskan and Sumna poured that bucket of water on Akash and Afnan's heads. Everyone knows the next story. Akash and Afnan entered the house. They entered with extreme anger and resentment. Meanwhile, all Mahira's brothers entered one after the other. Seeing Akash and Afnan like this, a boy said, Why are these boys standing in such strange clothes and smelling strange? Another replied, They know. Their words reached the ears of the sky. Hearing this, Akash is furious. A woman came from the kitchen to see that all of Mahira's in-laws had left. She asked them to sit down and glanced at Akash and Afnan before heading back to the kitchen. He stepped forward and asked, Who are you, father? Afnan was looking around. Suddenly he heard someone's voice and looked ahead to see Akasha's mother standing. Seeing Akasha's mother, Afnan immediately replied, You are me this evening. Auntie, this is your golden boy and I am Afnan. Akasha's mother Nazreen Begum laughed and said, Who has bathed my gold sons like this with gold? Before Akash could say anything, Nazreen Begum called her to the kitchen. He left quickly. Meanwhile, Akash and Afnan are standing like Avla. They look like nothing less than their own circus clowns, because everyone passing by is laughing. Akash and Afnan have nothing to do, because they don't remember anything about this house. They came a long time ago, when they were children. Muskin came down the stairs and saw their wrong target standing below. Means Akash and Afnan. 
Seeing their condition, Muskin is laughing so much. It is beyond words but he is controlling laughter with great difficulty he says Sumana. My mother is smiling a lot, Sumana. Sumana slowly says, shut up. Can't laugh at all. Laughter is a joke. Muskin says, hem, and gets down and stands. Muskin can't hold back his smile. Finally, he laughs. When the sound of laughter reaches Akasha's ears, he looks at Muskin. Because everyone around is busy with work, many people are giving food to the guests. Finding Muskin suspicious among them, he looks at Muskin. Akash addresses Afnan and says, look at that girl, my friend. Afnan said with annoyance, hey, why are you doing girl girl in this situation? Hey, I'm suspicious of that girl. It seems that this girl has made us like this. Afnan looked at Muskin and saw that this girl was really suspicious. Muskin whispered something to his five-year-old cousin Mira. Then Mira went in front of Akash and Afnan and put her hand on her nose and said, saying, Yukai, smell, he ran away from there. After hearing this Akash and Afnan's face was worth watching. He was smiling seeing this. Suddenly, Muskin's ear was held by his fapi and asked, you did this, didn't you? I've been noticing everything for a long time. Go and say sorry, Muskin said, I won't say sorry. Hearing this, Muskin's Fapi cried louder and said, what I'm saying now. Okay, I'm going. Then Muskin went in front of Akash and Afnan and said, sorry for that. Hearing this, Akash said, I was right to suspect that. Afnan joined in, why did this girl do that? Muskin replied with a smile, I've done enough. I've done what I want. I'm sorry. If you accept, do it. Otherwise, share from here. Sky said, we have come to stay here. So I will not leave here. And even if you make a mistake, how dare you say such big things? Muskin's anger rose. He was being listened to while standing in their house. He said, Hey Mr. Kaddish Kamba, where are you from? You are standing in our house listening to me, tell me first. Afnan said, This girl, you will do these things upside down, and we say it is the fault. By now, the elders of the house have come. And Mahira's brothers-in-law are also watching everything. Muskin replied, yes Dosh, where is the yellow Hanuman from? He looks nothing less than a monkey. Two monkeys wearing suit boots. And these were not for you, but for your brothers-in-law. One type of welcome drink for them. Muskin was leaving, but one of Mahira's brothers-in-law said, what a dangerous girl, father. Muskin instantly turned his head and replied, yes I'm dangerous, too much dangerous than you thought. Mind it, after marriage, if your cousin has hurt my sister, then I'll make you pay for it. Muskin left. The eyes of everyone present are about to pop out. Afnan said in a low tone, the sea is quite interesting. Now let's introduce ourselves briefly. Muskin, reading honors first year, age 20 years, very playful in nature. He is not a person to stay still. They are two sisters. She is younger. Her elder sister's name is Mahira. She is married. Akash and Afnan, two childhood friends have studied from America. They want to come to the country and start a business of their own. They would have come to the country later, but they have already come for Mahira's wedding. Both Muskin's father and Akash's father are very good friends. Besides, both of them build a two-story house. Afnan used to come to Akash's house before. He knows Muskin because of that. But neither Akash nor Afnan recognized Muskin because they met in childhood. Muskin didn't recognize them either, 